So recently I watched Devil Man Cry Baby and because Super didn't have an episode this week, I thought why not make a video and review it. Now I will start and say that if you don't like sexual themes, gore, and you haven't watched the first episode yet, feel free to not watch the episode, don't watch the show in general because obvious reasons. But if you don't mind stuff like that, of course, then feel free to watch the first three episodes to kind of give a genuine opinion about it. And then, you know, depending on how you feel about after the first three episodes, go ahead and continue. But without, with that out of the way now, let's go ahead and start the review. Double Man Crybaby is a Japanese anime series based on Go Into Guy's manga, Devil Man. It was directed by Masaki Uasa, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, and it premiered on January 5th, 2018, and it was available worldwide on the streaming service known as Netflix as their own original series. And without seeing anything from the Go, uh, Go Nagai's manga, uh, the art style was very different. It was interesting, to say the least. I didn't hate it. It wasn't bad. But at times when I was looking at it, it didn't feel... It, didn't, it, it felt like it didn't look right to me. But that, that, of course, is my own personal opinion. So take that as you will. In, in this series, uh, you follow a character named Akira, Akira Fudo. Fudo and he's informed by his best friend Ryo that an ancient race of demons has returned to take back the world from humans. Believing that the only way to defeat the, the demons is to incorporate their powers, Ryo suggests to Akira that he unite with a demon. Succeeding in doing so, Akira transforms into Devil Man, possessing the powers of a demon but retaining the soul and the heart of a human. And that scene, that was one of my favorite things that I actually thought was really cool. It was really cool the first time that he goes into his whole devil man form like for the first time in, in the first episode actually. I thought it looked really cool. Uh, every other time though when it happens for different characters because there are multiple different characters that also become a devil man I didn't really think it was all that great to be honest. It didn't really you know give off that kind of like shock value I guess that's the word I'm, I'm gonna use of what happened during Akira's transformation into a devil man, but whatever. So, the series is also more of a direct anime adaptation of the the original source material from Gonda Guy's manga, um, and obviously from the previous works of other like, devil man anime as well, covering the entire span of the manga. However, many alterations were made to the plot, such as a modern setting and different characterizations. That's the word I was trying to say. I apologize. <laughs> Um, Double Man Crybaby's animation, uh, first looking at it, it wasn't, ex it wasn't what I expected it to be when I first saw it. Uh, but with the show, with how fast paced it is at times and how very expressive a lot of the characters and a lot of the art style pretty much is, it's very colorful at times, but also very dark at a lot of times as well. Uh, it works. It works uh, it works with how it's supposed to be, and it's not terrible. It's not bad, but there were also at times where, it, for me, it was very hard to look at, and I didn't really enjoy it all that much just because of how difficult it was for me to watch it. Uh, because, because, like I said, there is a lot of gore and a lot of sexual themes. Uh, a lot of the times, there was a character... Actually, there was a character. Her name is Miko, and one of the characters, one of the side characters was very obviously pointing out her how big her chest was her breast and they were very very expressive i'll say the least and um yeah it's uh you know it was whatever and of course i feel like that was the point of why the animation and the art style was as it is i feel like that was the point of it so take that as you will if you do decide to watch the series of course the characters were fairly interesting, but with how short the show actually was and what happened at the end of the show, I couldn't help but not get emotionally attached to the characters besides maybe two out of the whole cast. And for me, that was a big problem because after watching a series um, and completing two series, being Dragon Ball and Naruto, with how long the series are, you get very emotionally attached to some of the characters. And when they do die, uh, mainly in Naruto, not really Dragon Ball, but in Naruto, you get emotionally attached to the character, and then when they die, it's very emotional. And then you sometimes, for me, of course, because I'm a, I'm a little crybaby. 
you know, I cry, I tear up, and it's sad. But in this show, Level Man Cry Baby, it didn't really, it didn't really get me emotionally invested into the characters. So I couldn't help but, you know, not really care if so and so character died. You know, so whatever, right? Take that as you will. Two things that I actually really enjoyed from the show, though, were character were these characters, and any single time these characters would show up in a scene, they would do these really cool raps and I thought that was actually really cool I thought I honestly really thought that was really cool and that's easily one of the best things that came from the show was was the was the rappers in the uh in all the episodes and the episodes they watched they obviously did raps for I'm stuttering on my words I apologize but the rappers were really cool characters because they actually got really professional freestyler start uh, slash rappers to actually you know do the raps and they are uh from Japan and supposedly from what my friend has told me it's easier to rhyme in Japanese but it still sounded really cool and the reason why I say in Japanese it's because uh, if you do decide to watch it in the dub which isn't horrible I haven't listened to the sub and I may or may not never listen to the sub but if you do watch the dub the rapping will be in Japanese so if you have a problem with that you know it's whatever you're gonna have to deal with it I guess and overall with the music uh, it's very good. It's very, very good. A lot of the music fits with a lot of stuff that happens in the show, and I really liked it. But, of course, with anything uh, with that has to involve really good music in any series, I could talk about it all day, but this video would be way too long, and I don't really want that. There were times where I felt the show was trying to be over the top just, just because they knew they could. There was one scene that sticks to my head, sticks to my mind, that I can't forget just because of how pointless I thought the scene was, and I, I just didn't really like it. It felt unneeded, and but did it make the show bad in the end of the day? No, of course not, but it felt so unneeded. It felt like it was trying to add shock value just to add shock value just because they can do it, just because it was going on Netflix, I guess, and... I don't know, I just didn't really like the scene. I feel like it was really pointless. Uh, some of you may know what I'm talking about if you feel the same way about the scene like I did. But um, if you do have questions about what scene I am talking about, uh, leave a, leave, a, uh, leave what scene you think I'm talking about in the comments and I'll answer if it's right or wrong. Uh, the show has a lot of talks about demons and, and Satan himself. Um, and then, of course, you know, Devil Man. Like, the series is literally called Devil Man. And something else that was actually really cool is Devil Man as, like, a manga in the, in the original Devil Man anime actually exists in the world of Devil Man Crybaby, which was really cool. But the reason why I do bring up uh, the topic of there's a lot of talks about, you know, demons existing in the world that is Devil Man Crybaby and even Satan, who does show up at the end of the series. Um,. Uh, I would imagine it would bother it would bother a lot of people. It didn't really bother me, uh, not because I'm like an atheist or I or I believe in Satanism or something like that. Uh, because I am a Christian, I I do believe in God and Jesus Christ, of course. But um, I imagine that would bother a lot of people, depending if they just don't like the the topics uh, about that stuff or just in general. So it's whatever. Sometimes you just have to take that as you will. But um. Uh, something I did decide to do differently for this video is I decided to write a script and I really hope that this video isn't too long because of the script but one last thing I really wanted to talk about this show is that it it fucked me up I've heard that it happens to most but for me it was different when most people say that when most people when the when most people say that they say it as if it was a joke but for me I'm serious, it was for real, it actually fucked me up. I watched all the episodes on the night of my birthday, and with how the show ended, I remember feeling like I couldn't sleep that night, like I was scared for my life, almost as if the world was gonna end. And because, spoilers, um, spoiler warning, the show doesn't end with a happy ending. Everybody that you see in the show dies, and most, of, and most times it's sad and it's brutal very very brutal my friend who watched the show before me said he cried a lot he cried so much for a lot of the deaths that did happen and some scenes in the show but for me I couldn't help but not really cry I didn't feel sad at all or rather I just didn't feel like crying because of 
because I just didn't really care because there wasn't enough time for me to get emotionally attached or invested into the characters, so I didn't really cry. There was only one scene that I actually properly cried on, but that was like the talk of like Akira's parents and they had gotten killed by one of the demons and I couldn't help but in my mind, you know, get get really sad and get to the point where I started crying because on the day of my birthday I got to see my mom and I I just couldn't help but, you know, think of my own mom and my own father and etc etc I'm not gonna get into that but I know that not all anime of course ends without ends off with a happy ending but for Double Man Crybaby it didn't really feel right because you know there there was no happy ending there there was nobody that survived everyone everyone that you knew everyone that you see in the show dies and maybe some other anime does that but for for some reason it just didn't feel right with devil man devil man crybaby because with the talks of satan and demons you know killing people possessing people it just it felt it, it felt weird it felt off and maybe the show was made for the people who followed along with go the guy's devil man manga or watched the original devil man anime maybe that's the case but with me never reading a single page, I couldn't help but really care all that much. So maybe I would have cared if I had read the manga first, but I didn't. So take that as you will. If you watched it and you really liked it, if you either watched uh, the original series or you watched the manga, or, or you watched it for the first time but still really enjoyed it, um, that's great. You know, that's your opinion. This is my opinion. And... You know, I completely respect that, but this is an anime this is an anime series that I don't think I'll be able to ever really rewatch in my opinion, so it's and it's something that I don't think I'll be rewatching for and at any point for many reasons for just because of myself and because I felt like this kind of almost ruined a lot of things, this almost ruined my my sa my sanity. It it honestly it almost ruined sex for me. I'll be blatantly honest. It wasn't good. It wasn't very good for me. But overall, I still enjoyed it. I didn't hate the show, but there was stuff that I did have problems with. And this is honestly my own personal opinion. But with that being said, I think I pretty much covered everything. If if I did miss something, go ahead and leave a comment, and I'll answer it to uh, as best as I possibly can. And with that being said, of course, that's the end of the video. So if you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. And of course, if you want to see more videos just like this, consider hitting that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Have a beautiful life. Peace out.